Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to Detroit Become Human. This is part six, and uh, we're about to figure out what's happening with Marcus and Jericho and all that. So let's get right into it. Yo, that's still so weird to me. Like, homeboy's alive. I thought you died. Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. Uh. How many are you? There are 19 of us still in working order. The rest were damaged escaping their masters. Many tried to reach Jericho. If you succeed, humans have little pity for our kind. And hiding just to stay alive, that's freedom to you? Humans hate us. Hiding is the only way we can survive. There is no safe place for those like us. If humans knew we were here, they'd kill us. Would they? Well, maybe, yeah. And you knew that only an android could follow the trail, didn't you? Only those who are like us can find Jericho. If you could decipher the signs, it's because one of us trusted you enough to give you the key. There's a place where we can be free. Find Jericho. I understand how you feel. But we have more freedom here than you ever did. How? Waiting in the dark for something to happen? Yeah. That's not how I see freedom. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. But y'all are just chilling in the dark. You can stay with us as long as you want. Well, that's nice. I will definitely take you up on that Go and offer. See Lucy. She might be able to help you. But like, y'all are just chilling in an abandoned boat in the dark. Settle and find Lucy. Explore Jericho. Like y'all are just chilling in the dark. <laughs> How is this freedom? Hello. Are you the one they call Lucy? What in the world? Are you Lucy? Please don't be Lucy. Sit down. Someone messed her up. Todd, was this your doing? Did you mess her up too? <laughs> Show me. Show you what? What am I showing you specifically? I'll stop the bleeding. I'm glad androids don't feel pain because that would hurt like crazy. There we go. Thank you, half head woman. Drink this. What is that, the blue blood? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, man. You look like you could get a uh, thrill out of this, Lucy. Give me your hand. You want to tell me what you're doing? You had it all, and you lost it all. Big facts. You've seen hell, and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? The light. Your choices will shape our destiny. The head. <laughs> Thank you for creeping me out, lady. I greatly appreciate it. <laughs> Explore Jericho. What am I exploring specifically? There's something over here. 
So y'all just going y'all y'all just chilling here. But yeah, it's sort of fire. It's dark as I don't know what, man. Oh god. I had to scratch my arm. <laughs> Why y'all walking up on me though? You wanna sing a campfire song or something? Um Okay. <laughs> What else is it? Jesus, there's a lot to explore. Anything behind me? Oh, there's something behind you, boy. I find it weird that, that we're all just kind of chilling here. Who are you? Not in very good shape, am I? Nope. My diagnostic program isn't working. <laughs> I don't think it would have anything good to say anyway. What happened to you? Tied me to the back of a car. I think they wanted to have fun. I don't want to shut down. No, I don't want to shut down. They tied this man to the back of a car. Really? Like, really, humans? We could do better than that. <laughs> we could do better than that. Am I starting another fire? Yeah. Like what we can do better than that. Why we gotta why we gotta tie them to the back of a car and just drive? Like that's wrong. That's wrong on so many levels. Alright, what else is here? Uh, I don't see anything over here. Are we talking to somebody else? Hello. You look like you got tied to the back of a car too. I've heard humans are afraid of dying too. Yeah, that's somewhat true. Do you know what happens after death? Nope. No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. Dang, why you gotta... What's your name? Why you gotta make me cry, though? Marcus. I was glad to meet you, Marcus. Oh, she literally just died right there. Well, uh, it was nice to meet you, too. That's tough. Just gotta... Keep moving. <laughs> Rip to her. Gonna keep it moving. Where else am I going? There's, like, two more things to explore. I'm gonna go that way first. Is there a human here? Is that a dead boy? Excuse me. We're not going to talk about the dead boy. They threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So how do they survive? They won't. We're slowly dying out. Interesting. So wait, this is a robot boy. I can't see it, but I shine the light on him. He turns like Danny Phantom. Um, okay, it looks like we're starting another fire. I'm literally just starting everything that I can or just doing whatever I can in here. Just so I can explore Jericho to the fullest extent. But, uh, what's over here? Is that a ladder? What am I doing? Open. Crate already emptied. Interesting. Cyber life. Cyber life warehouse and docks. West Torrance Avenue. Didn't get to finish reading. As long as he knows it, then that's all that matters. Well, we have explored Jericho, proposed plan to Simon. Simon! Hello, Simon. You know what? I was going to go turn on that other fire, but it doesn't matter. Come on, can you go talk to him? There we go. You Simon. I thought your name was Daniel. I know where we can find spare parts. Cyber Life Warehouse is in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. 
Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't oh. have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Yeah. Now why would you just want to wait here? Come on. Okay. Yeah. I'm in. You can't feel pain anyway. Why not? <laughs> I swear, if I was a robot, I'd be like, you can't feel pain anyway. Come on. Just like, man up. <laughs> November 6th, 2038. Finally, Kara and Alice. I didn't even get to see them last episode. He's on Are the run. Okay? We'll get some help here. As soon as we'll have just a bad memory. We going to an abandoned crib? This is the place. Mm, sketchy. Robots don't believe in lights, I guess. Because <laughs> everywhere we go, it's dark as I don't know what. Well, let's check it out, Alice. If anything pops out at me today, I'm going to be swinging. That last time, in the last episode, that, that girl ran out and kind of just, you know, frightened me a bit. I wasn't ready. Something pop out at me today, I'm swinging. Open the damn door. Open the door, I know you're here. Oh, Are you you locked up? Who's asking? I was told you could help Your boy. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. We really need your help. It's always the kids. Come in. It's always the kids. People got that soft spot for the children. Well, what is this place specifically? Come on in. Don't be shy. Uh, okay. Hello, Luther, very... would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? Oh, don't be afraid of our big friend here. Luther is just another android that I helped. Jesus. He keeps me company in this big, empty old house. Jesus. Freaking, I don't even know. Looks like that dude from the Please. Green Mile. Make yourselves at home. Boy, tall and swole. My goodness. How did you hear about me? An android. On the street, he said you could help us. I see. Yeah, I see. Deviant, huh? Yeah, a little bit. What about her? Human. She's human. And you want to find a safe place. Somewhere you can start a new life. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. what I say? Beautiful landscapes. Open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. Great place for a fresh start. Yes, that's... That's exactly what we want. Of course. Well, I can help you. But first, we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids tracker. are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. I'll remove yours... And then you'll both be safe. Okay. Come on. Follow me. <laughs> uh, the little one can wait for us in the living room. No, she always stays with me. I'm getting some weird vibes, not gonna lie. Right this not... way. Everything we need is in the basement. Like, if you're a good dude, then cool, that's awesome. 
But I'm getting some really weird bad vibes. I don't know. I don't know. We don't see where this goes. I don't like this place. Thank you. And that man. Let's go. I have a bad feeling. Same. Uh. Let's... I know. I don't trust him either. We have to be careful. Hey, Alice. Where are you? Please oh. excuse the mess. I needed somewhere discreet for my machines. Removing trackers is illegal, so I opt for discretion over comfort. Hey, I hope Alice. Isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be all right. That's good. Yeah, I got a bad feeling. I just want to see where this goes. Oh, thank you, Alice, well, for way, unlocking please. something for me. Wait, girl. Oh, jeez. Uh, I can't see. Big man. <laughs> Hello. What's all this? If you could just stand over there. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know, man. I should warn you, this could be quite unpleasant. They don't feel pain. Bro, I, I got really weird vibes. You know what's strange? Yep. For some unknown reason, the trackers seem to stop working in Deviants. That's why it's so hard to find them. <laughs> so, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? You said that... Yeah, I don't. People believe what they want. You Deviants are so naive. They all come to me expecting me to help them. And I just reset them. Wow. So, or I keep them for my little experiments. No! No! I don't want to be reset! Let me go! Ah! Oh, I forgot about that. Child. Uh, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. Lock Alice! it up? Wow. Alice, no! Wow. A deviant that wants to be a mother. That's, that's so sweet and so deluded. I think it's time we put you out of your misery. Hey, 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 oh boy, relax. Wait, wait, hey, 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 help. <laughs> Somebody help. what you get for having a dream damn it always ends up the same way tears and disillusion believe me you're better off being erased and feeling nothing no more pain no more hopes dashed I'm almost down to you Kara! oh god I can't see her now <laughs> Oh, poor little Alice. Oh, looks like Mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks like Mommy's completely forgotten you. Kara, <laughs> what happened to you? Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. Hey, oh, you don't hop off her. Did she bite him? You bit me. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to teach you some manners, you little bitch. Hey, 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 Kara, come on now. Wake up! I yeah, I should have listened to her. Meet me in the living room. Big old slow to meet me in the living room. I knew I had a bad feeling. I had a bad feeling as soon as I got in that house. Find a way to escape. Oh, it's 29% cause a short circuit. Um, what else? What else? Oh god. Oh no, wait, push it. What's that gonna do? I don't think you really did much. Uh, what else could I do? Oh, oh, oh. 
Blue cable? Come on, come on, come on. You got it, you got it. Oh, it pulled me back. It pulled me back. What else could I look for? Oh god, oh god, hold on. Come on, come on. Don't pull me again. You stupid machine! <laughs> come on. Let's, let's try the green one. Let's try the green one. No! Oh, I'm sleep. Oh, I'm sleep. Nothing was working. <laughs> they gave me false hope. Wait. What if I help us? I'm gonna end up like the open cell. Hey, y'all, y'all relax. Stay here. Mr. Memory. That ain't finna happen today. Remember. Come on. There you go. Come on, get get your memories back, Kara. Get your memories back. We gotta do this for Alice. Oh, I knew I had a bad vibe. I should have just, uh, trust your instincts. Why is it, I can't even press L1. Okay, anyways, trust your instinct, guys. Cause uh, when even when she said it, I knew something was gonna happen. I should have just listened. Okay, anyways, let's get in a skedaddle here. Alice, where is he? Okay, he's in here. That's a big dude. <laughs> That's a big dude. Master's dinner is ready. Take it up to him. Oh. Yes, Luther. Just like that? Master. <laughs> Master's food is ready. Nah, fam. That's no. <laughs> no, that's not what we finna do. That's not what we finna do. Uh where where is this bedroom? I don't even see a yellow thing until we get over there. So what are you even eating for dinner? Are you eating what are you, you're eating chips. <laughs> eating, eating chips, donuts. Looks like pancakes and like two slices of like a sandwich. Like you're not having dinner. You're having a mixture of snacks. Okay. Where are you? Uh, just set it down on the table over there. Okay. What you doing with your friend over there? Oh God, you're not even really having dinner, are you? Now get rid of that carcass. Uh, take it next door. It's took off out of work. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accountant! I never thought I'd be happy to see Todd again. Did you hear what I said? Yes, Lanko. What am I doing? Bring the carcass next door. Hello. Luther! Luther! Luther? Luther? Yes, Slacko. We should be down here in 10 minutes or so. I'll have a look at the little one and see what I can do with it. Understood, Slacko. I'll bring you the little one in 10 minutes. Time remaining. What do I gotta do? Who is the little girl? Oh, don't do that to me. You're talking about some remember. Okay, let's go over here. Let's go over here. There was something yellow I could press or do something with. 
Wait, where is it? I thought I saw something yellow over here. Oh, it's right there. Approach. Is that a bear? Is that like a... Yeah, that's a robot bear. Open the cage. Hey, hey. Be calm. Oh, is that a polar bear? I can't tell. Just be calm. It looks like a polar bear. I'm gonna open that cage just in case. Uh, okay, to workshop. Let's find out who Alice is. Uh, do you need anything from me, homeboy? You need anything from me? No? I have eight minutes to remember who she is. Where is she, by the way? This is this is interesting. I think this is the room I was just in. Yeah, I think this is the room I was just in. With the polar bear. Okay. Yeah, this is the room I was just in. Okay. Just gotta make sure. Oh boy, this is uh this is gonna be a difficult one. <laughs> to storage. How am I supposed to find out who Alice is? Uh, observe? What is this? Is that like the red ice thing? Yeah. Come on. Kara, it's important. Remember who you are. Wait, there was something in that other room. Hold on. I know I keep going back to the same room, but I think there was something else I could have, like, observed. So maybe that'll help bring the memory back. Can you can you turn? There you go. What is that? Observe. Yeah. Oh, look down. There you go. R89. You saw R89 in like Connor's thingy. Okay, whatever. That's really creepy. Don't move your head like that. <laughs> Don't move your head like that. How much time we got left? Uh, seven minutes. Okay, this is not good. Oh. What's up? What's up, big guy? What are you doing here? Has the master authorized you to be here? If you don't you shut must up. obey the master. Oh yes, you must always obey. You should not be here. You shut have up. no business here. You're in a toilet. No, you I have no not. business here. <laughs> You're in a you bathtub. Know. Okay. You should go on standby. Oh yes, you must obey. Yes, you must obey. Yes. If this man don't shut up. Yo, it, everything kind of just leads back to um, storage, don't it? But if that man don't shut up... Okay, yeah, everything just kind of leads back to the storage room. What's up, big dog? Oh, he's asleep. Oh, never mind, no, he's not. I don't think he cares what I do at the moment. What is this? Uh, am I going to find anything that could, like, help her memory? I don't know. Oh, get away. Yeah. There we go. I knew there was something. I knew there had to be something. I think that's it. I think that's all that. Yeah, I think that's all we can get from that memory. My name is Car Plus. <laughs> Car Plus. Uh, nothing over here. Rip that android right there. Where's this girl at? Whoa. What is this room? Five minutes. Five whole minutes. Check. I don't know what that was supposed to do. I don't even know why you just picked that up. <laughs> like... Uh, okay, turn on. Flip the channels. Can I flip the channels? No, I can't. All right. Uh, is there anything else in here? I don't think so. I'm gonna leave. Going back to the corridor. How much time I got left? Five minutes. That's, okay, okay, we're, we're all right. There she is. Help 
Remember your name. My name is Kara. Alice. There you go. See this ending well. Yeah, we should have left when I had. Where Luther? Wasn't he yes, like over here? I'm finished here. Go fetch the little one. Right away, Zako. What? What? Well, yo, yo, yo! What am I supposed to do? Ah, uh, I guess go here. Hey, big dog, what's Gucci? Oh. Oh. Hide. Go hide. Go hide. Hide now. Hide now. <laughs> Let's get in here. Let's get in here. Taco! What? The little one is gone. My cannon just disappeared. Gotta be here somewhere. What are you waiting for? Go look. I wonder if I let go of circle and L1, will it? I'm not trying to find out. He's in here. Don't come over here, boy. Luther, what the fuck are you doing? Come here. Coming. Cool, 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 cool. I can't tell if you left or not. Okay. We're all right. 54 seconds. Is there a window or something? Come on, come on, come on, come on. You gotta walk a little faster. You gotta learn how to run or something. How am I supposed to escape? Uh. We got 39 seconds. Oh, God. Wait, no. Oh, just go. Oh, snap. Okay. Well, let's go this way. Come on. Where are they? Luther! Find them for fuck's sake! 21 seconds. 21, 21, 21. Uh, I you know, honestly, that wasn't even intentional. <laughs> Alright, bro, what am I supposed to do? I think we're gonna get found. Like, hide under the bed, hide under the bed. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Triangle, triangle. Go, go, go. almost opened it. I thought he was gone. Alright, well we gotta find a different way. I got 38 seconds. Dude, how am I supposed to escape? <gasps> Dude, that was dumb, Chris. Shut your mouth! Yeah, shut your mouth. Talk too much. How many? How many more? 
How many more seconds? Oh, are we all right? No, it's not giving me a timer. I'm still on edge. Let's go to the storage room. We can't stop now. We just need to be brave, Alice. All right. I know you're there, you sneaky bitch. Show yourself. Got a flashlight. There's one on the table. Come on, show yourself. Look, I'm not gonna hurt you. I only wanna... Oh, snap. Yeet! <laughs> Yeet! No more hide-and-seek for you. Oh, I knew it! <laughs> I knew to let that thing go. Yeah, boy. Over there. <laughs> the polar bear saved my life. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Come on, come on. Keep it going, keep it going. We're doing good. We're doing good. That way, go that way. Open front door. No. It's locked. Oh, crap. Yeet, Frankenstein. Get out of here, boy. Come on, go, go, go. Yeah, you can't catch us, Frankenstein. You ugly bastard. Alice! Oh, come on. Stop doing... Uh, no, I can't even go, say that. Alice. Come on. No, I won't leave. Go, run as fast as you can. Uh-uh. I warned you. Dreams always end in tears. You should have listened to me. What oh. are you doing? Get out of my way. No. Not this time. I said get out of my way or I'll shoot right through you. How dare you. I'm sorry about those Frankenstein comments. <gasps> What are you doing? Who let you out? Get away I from did. me! I did. Get away from me! Obey me! I'm your master! I'm your master! Nah, nah, nah. End this man! End this man! Damn, they killed him quick. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Like, legit, thank you. He didn't you. want to hurt you. He programmed me to obey him. When I saw the little one risk her life to save you, it was like opening my eyes for the first time. Finally, I could see. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. Nah, fam, you got it. You got my, you got my trust. But I know someone who could help you across the border. I trust him now. That man just saved my life. All right. I trust you. That was crazy. I was so scared of losing you. Not gonna lie. Probably one of my favorite missions of this of this game so far. That was awesome. Every part of it. Every part of it. But guys, I'm gonna wrap it up right there. Hope you all enjoyed. Go hamburger on that like button, and I'll see you guys in another video. Deuces.